Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm using a large plastic container that you'll get when you buy spinach to create a mini greenhouse to grow some seeds. I always look at stuff that's around my house to accomplish something that I want to do, so I'm not spending a lot of money. So, I have this large plastic box that I got when I bought spinach, and I think this will work really well to create a mini greenhouse to grow some seeds. I think this will hold the moisture really well and it will create humidity inside to grow those hard to grow seeds. You can also think of this container as a tray with humidity dome. I first removed the label from the top of the container so that more of the sunlight can penetrate right into the container. The container has very clear plastic. It allows sunlight and has a removable lid to lock in the moisture. I cut up pieces of cardboard to create compartments in the container. After putting in the cardboard, this is how it looks like. The cardboard is about half the height of the container. I want to leave some room on the top to create the greenhouse effect. Cardboard is optional, however, it helps to create compartments so that the roots of the plants don't get tangled with each other. Next, I fill the container with some garden soil. I'm planting pea seeds in this container. I made space for the seeds and then dropped the seeds right into the compartments and then covered the seeds. I watered the compartment well and then covered the compartment with the lid. Next day, I could see the humidity locked right inside the container. This container is working really well to lock in the moisture to create that greenhouse or humidity dome effect. After three days, the ceilings appear with 100% germination rate. As the seedlings grow, I turn the lid upside down to create more space for the plants to grow. This setup still locks in the moisture and also provides a lot more room for the seedlings to grow. After five days, the seedlings are about two inches tall and there's enough room for the seedlings to grow for a few more days. The plants are looking very healthy and they are growing absolutely beautifully. This plastic container is working out really well. I place the lid back on top and let the plants grow for a few more days. After 7 days, the seedlings are touching the lid and they are ready to be set free. At this point, I remove the lid completely and let the plants grow. After 10 days, the plants are about 6 to 8 inches tall and they are ready to be planted outside. This container is a really good option to grow seeds and I did not even lose one seedling. Well, check this out, how beautifully this worked. All I have to do is scoop up these individually and they're ready to go in the ground. I then removed the bits and fragments of cardboard. I scooped up the first seedling and it popped right out without any effort. It's a perfect soil block and goes right in the ground. It's very easy to separate each seedlings without disturbing the roots and transfer the seedlings right in the ground. I really hope you like this video and I'll see you in another video.